So this morning I've come out nice and early down to the coast to get what should have been a very minimalist long exposure picture. But it's not quite the calm flat sea that was planned. Ugh. So instead of that, I want to show you how you can import and use lookup tables or LUTs in Lightroom. Now, of course, there are a few different variations of Lightroom. We have Lightroom Classic, which is really Lightroom on the desktop. We've got Lightroom on the cloud, which is just called Lightroom. We've got Lightroom Mobile, and we've got Lightroom on the web in the browser. Let's just start off with Lightroom Classic, which is Lightroom on the desktop. Now, to jump forward just for a moment, when we actually do have lookup tables installed in Lightroom, the place that we access them is in the Develop module, then the Basics tab, and in the top right-hand corner, we have the Profile Browser. When I click on that, here are a number of folders. These ones at the moment contain the default profiles installed in Lightroom, but this is where our lookup tables would be listed. Obviously, we can't see them at the moment, so we need to install them. And it might sound crazy, but the way that we do that is by using Camera Raw. So I'm now in Photoshop. I'm going to go to the Filter menu and choose Camera Raw Filter. Now, it's worth noting that you don't actually need to use Photoshop to get into Camera Raw. You could also, for example, maybe be in Adobe Bridge. I've got a JPEG image here, and if I right-click on it, I have the option to open in Camera Raw. That will get me into the same place. It doesn't really matter how you do it, so long as you get into Camera Raw. Now, over on the right-hand side, we can see that it looks pretty similar to uh, Lightroom. Here we have our profile browser. The difference now, though, is that we have this ellipsis, these three dots. When I click on that, we have a few options available to us, and one of them says Create Preset. Now, if I just go straight ahead and click on that, that will open up the Create Preset dialog, and you can see there's no mention whatsoever of lookup tables in there. So let's just cancel that. What I actually need to do is come back to the ellipsis here, where we have the Create Preset. When I click on that, I also need to be holding down a key on my keyboard. Now, on Mac, that's the Option key, on Windows, it's the Alt key. So I'll hold that key down, then I'll click on Create Preset. And when I do that, it opens up the dialog, but what you'll notice is at the top now, it says Create a Profile. Also at the bottom, we can see here, Color Lookup Tables. So this is now where we can install our lookup tables. So the first thing I'm gonna do, right at the very top where it says Group, I'm gonna create a new group. This is gonna be the name of the folder where my lookup tables are stored. So I'll call this one Glins Lutz, and then click OK. I'll then come down to the bottom and put a tick in the checkbox next to where it says Color Lookup Table. When I do that, it opens up the finder on my computer so I can navigate to an area where I've got a load of different lookup tables stored. These ones here are the ones that are included in my Creative Pack 3. The details of that are in the description of the video. But I'm going to just install this first one here, 1940 RAF. So I click on it, I then click Load. You can see it puts it in down at the bottom. I'll change where it says space. I'm going to change that to Adobe RGB because I know that's what it was made in. But right at the very top where it says name, you'll see that it still says untitled. This is because I now need to manually give this lookup table a name. So I'll just change that there to say 1940 RAF and then click OK. Now that I've done that, at the moment we can see actually in Camera Raw it's not even listed. So if I wanted to see it in Camera Raw, I'd need to come out of Camera Raw then go back into it. Once it has refreshed, I can then come back to the profile browser and sure enough, there you see the folder and the lookup table listed. But with regards to Lightroom, if I now go back over into Lightroom, we're in that develop module. In the basics tab, I click on the profile browser and sure enough, you can't see it. So for you to be able to see them in Lightroom, if you had Lightroom open when you were initially installing them in Camera Raw, you just need to close it down. So close it down. We need to then restart Lightroom. And now once it's open, we can come back into the develop module, the basics tab, click on the profile browser, and sure enough, there is the folder that includes our lookup table. Now, if we wanted to install more than one, we would then just need to head back over into Camera Raw. So I'll just go to the filter menu within Photoshop, choose Camera Raw. We go to the ellipsis over on the right-hand side there, open that up, there's that Create Preset option. I need to hold down that secret keyboard shortcut, the Option key on Mac, Alt key on Windows. Click that, it opens up the Create Profile dialog. 
the group. This is where I want to store the multiple lookup tables. We've already got one named here where we called it Glyn's Lutz. Come down to the bottom, click to open the finder so I can navigate to some other lookup tables I want to install. We'll just use this one here, Home Guard, and then click Load. I'll change that space there to Adobe RGB and then manually change the name right at the top to say Home Guard and then click OK. Now in Camera Raw, what you'll notice is when I open it, you can see that it's actually installed it there, which is great. But if I come back over to Lightroom, because it's been open while I've been doing that, we can't see that second one. So as before, just give it a quick refresh by closing it down. Oh, we'll cancel that. And then we'll open up uh, Lightroom again. Once we open it, it then refreshes so that when we could dive into that profile browser, we'll then be able to see the folder containing both of those lookup tables. So that is how you can install them into the Lightroom Classic or the Lightroom Desktop. Now you might be somebody who uses Lightroom on the cloud, which is just called Lightroom. Now here's how you can install lookup tables into that, because if you've installed them into Camera Raw and Lightroom Classic, it doesn't automatically put them into Lightroom, Lightroom on the cloud. Now this is really, really simple. I've got Lightroom open or Lightroom Cloud open. And over on the right hand side, let's just go to the Develop module. We'll go to the Profile Browser in the top right hand corner. And here again are those folders that contain all the default ones that are installed. We can't see our lookup tables at the moment. All I need to do though is come to the very top right hand corner. We've got an ellipsis here, three dots. Click on that and at the very bottom it says Import Profiles. Now when I click on that, I then need to navigate to a certain folder on my computer. Now, this will vary if you're on Mac or on Windows. The actual folder, the, the way you get to it, I'm going to put in the description part of this video. But here on my Mac, you can see that I'll go to the library folder, then I'll go to application support, then Adobe, and then we'll scroll down to camera raw, and then we have the settings folder double click on the settings folder and here we can see our two lookup tables that we imported 1940s RAF home guard now I can just click on one and import or I can shift click on as many as I want and then click on import and when I do that what's great is because this is cloud based I don't need to close Lightroom down and restart it it automatically installs them for me there so there now is the folder containing the LUTs and you can see here they are just listed like so. And I can actually change the view to, let's go for uh, grid. This is what I really like about seeing LUTs in Lightroom. They're not just a name. We can actually see a thumbnail representation of them just there. Now, once you've installed the lookup tables into the Lightroom cloud or just the Lightroom version, they will then also appear in the Lightroom mobile app on your phones and your tablet devices. So for example, here on my iPhone, I'll open up the app. I'll then choose the image. At the bottom, I'll then scroll all the way across until I see the profiles. And then here you see them listed. Now we've also got Lightroom on the web. So if I just go to adobe.lightroom.com, I can then log into my Lightroom in the browser. Let's just go to a folder here, landscape. We'll choose that same image again. Come back over to the develop module. Here we have the uh, profile browser and sure enough there on the web as well are our lookup tables. So that's how you install them. Here then is how you can delete them. In Lightroom Classic, all I need to do is just come to the actual folder within the profile browser. I can put my cursor over each one and right click individually deleting them as we go, or if I just put my cursor over the actual name of the folder itself and right click, I can do delete profile group. And that will then warn me that if I do that, it will not just delete the group, but it will delete the actual lookup tables as well. So we'll just click on delete. That's all now gone. Now when it comes to Lightroom itself or Lightroom on the cloud, we'll come to the profile browser. Let's open up the lookup table folder here. I would need to right click and delete individually. So we'll click on delete. It'll have Warners, we'll click on delete there. I'll click on delete on this one, delete as well. And you can see now the folder itself has actually gone. Now when I do that, that also, if we dive over to the web, you can see that if I just close that down and I'll just refresh the website for my adobe.lightroom.com, you can see now when I go to the profile browser, the folder's gone. And depending on which ones or how many you remove from the Lightroom cloud or the Lightroom version, that will also sync across in the Lightroom mobile app. So there you go, just a quick one, nice and simple, really, really easy to do.
If you found this in any way useful and helpful, then please do just give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, click on that subscribe button because that's a great free way that you can support this channel. But uh, I'm definitely going to be coming back here. I'm in Tynmouth in Devon. Definitely going to come back here when the weather is more conducive to the uh, minimalist long exposure picture. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, have a good week and I'll see you in the next video.